This tip is going to be kind of a fun tip that's going to show you what's kind of possible, or at least one of the many things possible with route stemming in college football 25. Now, route stemming is something new to the game they added, and it just adds to just the creativeness uh, of the game. I'm actually going to be smart and not let Trey Moore blow up this video uh, because he's the best player in the game, and in practice mode, he's absolutely unreal. But, all right, let's get into it. So, PAY receiver in. And, and, and you can do this out of almost anything. But I'm just going to show it to you out of this play because I think this is one of the best plays to do this out of. Now, this is in the Oklahoma State playbook. We've got a full Oklahoma State ebook. If you want to get access to it, the link's in the description. $10 gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. It's a, by just by being a member of our school community. School community is uh, only $10 to be a member of. And the link to sign up's in the description. Okay, so what you can do with this wheel route. So... This wheel route to Bolden is really cool. Uh, I like to run this setup like this, basically. And then you can kind of do whatever you want. Like if you wanted to, like you literally just call it like this, right? And just snap. The problem is, you see how that flat, like he does, he kind of like runs himself into coverage. So if we could get him to go a little wider, it would be very advantageous to us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot route him and we're gonna stem his route. And you'll see that I can stem him. I can stem wheel routes. And, and what I've found is you can stem them up it's harder to stem them down. So we're going to stem him up one. It's going to make his wheel route run a little wider. Now watch this flat. See how I can throw this super flat against this coverage? Now that was cover four uh, with like purples. I'm going to show you cover four hard flat. So let's say they play like a hard flat coverage. You see we kind of stemmed it up. We're just going to throw it out there. You see the hard flat does play it. So now what we want to do is we're going to kind of combine, or we can, but we can we can kind of do th a couple things here. So the first thing is we have this flat. Now this is going to open up a lot more space for this route to be open in the middle of the field. The other thing this is going to do is let's say our opponent runs cover two, which a lot of people you would be surprised are running. If they run cover two, you stem this up. Cool part about stemming this up is going to get to run a little wider. And so when he cuts, he's going to get over the top of that cover two, and I actually got matched right there, and I think it's because I'm in a soft squad. Was it a soft squad right there? No, that was a cloud, that's crazy. So I guess cloud flats match match wheels for some reason, um, which is fine. We can just manipulate that in other ways, but in general, I just want you to see. So you see how this gets super wide, and now he's gonna have a chance to get over it. Now I got Isaiah Bond playing corner, so Isaiah Bond ain't gonna give anything up, but is what it is. So, so anyway, uh, that's a way that you can kind of utilize these wheel routes. Now, the cool part is you can do it from a hot route of wheel. So let's say you put the tight end on a wheel, and we run a do. Let's say we run the play like this. We can actually stem this wheel route that we put the tight end on all the way out. So this is kind of similar. You see, this becomes a really good flat pass. And then, as I was saying against like cover two and stuff, if the, if they match the wheel routes, if they match to the wheel routes. What's cool about this, and you can you don't have to do it. You can run it like this too. But if they match to wheel routes, let's just run a drag right underneath of this. So you see here, that drag comes open, and you have that read. Now the other thing uh, that's really cool about this play, so let's say we run this version of it. Let me. Actually, I forgot to stem. You got to stem it up. Don't stem it down. I don't know why I keep thinking to stem it down, but the cool part about this play in this playbook is the other thing we can do. This becomes a one-play score against cover three because you have that super deep post that's just going to outrun the defense. And you can do a lot of other things with these stems. So another example of what we could do with a stem is we can stem this guy all the way down, and now he's going to run more of a sharp-cutting almost like a crossing type route. It just gets across the field a little faster. And there's different reasons to run different routes, but the other run that I did want to mention is this, this route to Isaiah Bond. I love these like these in routes this year. So you can stem him up. So you see how he's going to take a really long time. It's, it's really the first stem. So what I like to do, this is super underrated. It's one of the most underrated route combo. You can do a, like a 15 yard in route, run this underneath of it like this. I want you to watch this deep in route. And you'll see it's just going to kind of go right around that second level of that defense. And a lot of people are going to 
get dirt, get destroyed by that in route. You can do those route sims for a lot of different things. For example, um, if you wanted to do like a corner route, you could stem him, you know, up, or you could stem him down. So you see, there's his depth. We could stem him up. We could stem him all the way down and basically turn it into a slant out. And then we pair that with our little wheel route. And you'll see here, that's a really good way to manipulate covers this year. So just wanted to do kind of a little bit of video, kind of highlighting these stems and how they can really change things. And you can st some routes you can stem down, some routes you can stem up, some routes you can stem you know up and down. But the general, you want to test out like these different route stems, and I guarantee you it's going to make you have a lot more fun on this game. Wish Trey, wish Quid Newers would uh, be able to make a throw, but I really like this. Uh, I really like this setup right here with little little running back streak. I think it's really good. And then if you want to get access to my full Oklahoma State offensive ebook, that's going to get updated here in a couple of days. Make sure you uh, make sure you join the school page, school.com/slash/cody-ballard. Link is in the description.